hello, hello to all of my water bearers. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Happy full moon. Happy full moon. We have a full moon on the 7th of December. It's the last full moon of this year. It's going to be at December the 7th at 11.09 p.m. So that way you'll get a chance to see it on the 7th at 11.09 p.m. as well as on the 8th, right? So don't forget to check out the last video when we talked about the number 78 and what that means and how significant it is. But guess what? The 6th of December is where... Um, Mercury enters Capricorn. So this is where you may start feeling some, I'm getting more serious about my life. I'm getting more serious about my universe. There's no way I'm, I'm carrying any uncertainty into 2023 about any area of my life, right? Yes, somebody is swinging into full humanitarian mode. That's right. You're cleaning out everything. As we get closer and closer to that full moon, um, as we get closer and closer to the full moon, and you're already feeling it right now in Aquarius, is that I want you to look at the full moon like this, right? So the, we have your, your sun sign, your moon sign, all the other placements in your birth chart, right? So your moon within yourself, your feelings are fully illuminated. Your emotions, your intuition is heightened. Everything that you didn't, like that wasn't clear about things within you as it relates to other people, places, and things are becoming crystal clear around full moon, right? So full moon means that your spirit is fully illuminated. You see everything, right? Even the things that you were trying to overlook or the things you kind of tossed away in the box over in the corner somewhere, you can see those things as well. So here we have the two of wands. You have the whole world in front of you, Aquarius. We have the 10 of wands, Somebody's going to be booked and busy. We have the eight of wands. Business just happening fast, 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 right? So you don't have a whole lot of time to devote to people who are sending mixed signals across your path, right? When you look over in your life and you say, you know, things that when I think about the fire in me, that's that inspiration. That's where you need to take action, right? We know Mars is retrograde, just like Uranus is currently retrograde. We know Uranus is one of your um, ruling planets. Mars is where am I going to put my energy? Am I putting my energy behind something that emotionally drains me with, with a person, place, or thing, or people, places, and things? Or can I be using that same fire to put up under inspiring myself or inspiring other people and therefore being booked and busy, right? Yeah, I got the whole world in front of me. It's time for me to travel. It's time for me to meet, meet new people. I've been saying I wanted to meet some new friends. I wanted to expand my social circle, all those things, right? And so let me, let me, let me prioritize some things here. That's what Mercury entering Capricorn is all about. So I'm talking to you if you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, even if you're on the cusp of Capricorn or Pisces, right? So yeah, so I'm seeing some new inspiration coming into your life. New inspiration could be like somebody younger than you who is creative. You know, that could be an inspiration if you want to be booked and busy doing some things. It could also mean new love for some people. Again, we're talking about emotions. We're talking about creativity. We're talking about water, right? It's going to feel like somebody has taken a fresh, a fresh sip of water from your own cistern as a, as an air sign, but as a water bearer, right? This is what you're moving towards legacy, legacy, wealth, legacy, legacy, legacy. And so somebody is getting more serious about their legacy. Do you want your legacy to be that you're so fired up, mad at somebody who is emotionally draining you? Their energy has burned you so many times that you feel not only I want to be booked and busy, but I'm too burdened and bitter because I'm over here dealing with Johnny or Jane Appleseed. <laughs> Let's just give them a name, you know, and, they, and they're just, they, every time they're just grinding my gears, they're really upsetting me, right? So source is saying to you, get your rest, rest up because somebody's about to be booked and busy, booked and busy, booked and busy, booked and busy. So that's a great thing for you, Aquarius. Great, great, great. As, as humanitarians, I, I know you're, and the, not only the smartest, but the friendliest sign in the Zodiac. You don't need people who are causing you to feel like you're just weighed down with emotions. I'm so sick and tired of this person, you know, burning me up on the inside. I feel like it's just, it, every time I think about them, I get so angry. I get, ex I'm exhausting myself. Have you ever been so mad that you just want to go take a nap? Those kind of people have no place in your universe. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. Sleep on it. 
sleep on it because you're about to be booked and busy booked and busy booked and busy that's right happy full moon happy full moon i want you all to go online and look up rituals and make these a part of your your regular routine you don't have to just do them full moon we have eight major moon phases right eight major moon phases we've talked about it on the channel before but let's get back to your reading because this is exciting aquarius this is exciting here we have um, Knight of Pentacles. We have the Hermit card. We have the Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Well, all right now we have the Nine of Wands. See, and I'm seeing you being victorious and moving on from something. Somebody's on the other side of, you're on the other side of this right here, this long and arduous journey that you've been on, right? It could have even been something that just overwhelmed you emotionally from the past, Remember that full moon is giving you an opportunity to say, ah, 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 that's still in that's that's still sitting in the 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 back of your mind. And now that full moon has brought it to the forefront of your mind. That thing that weighs you down emotionally, just thinking about how many times a person, place, or thing, or person people, places, and things have burned you up, right? So remember you may even hear loud noises like it just sounds like you hear you know you can hear their deepest desires to burn you again it's like oh i need to get my burning bowl out if you don't have a burning bowl you do not have to go buy one you can write down their name person place or thing or people places and things the emotions attached to it release it in love remember the key is to release it in love at a higher frequency right because this is you in hermit mode this is attached to Virgo. Virgo is the I analyze sign. And so this is where you're analyzing every part of your life. What has been ex emotionally exhausting me? Every time I get think about it, it a person, place, or thing that every time I think about it, I get emotionally burned out when I think about it. That's the thing you need to burn a bridge, burn it to a crisp, and do not look back. Get back to continue working very hard. See this person with their horse? This person is emotionally detached from anything or anybody that gets you so angry and so frustrated. You're sitting around crying somewhere. You're sitting around so mad you feel like you just want to punch a wall or punch the air and then go take a nap. That's what you feel like. Somebody's feel like, I'm so angry when I think about it. I just want to go take a nap. Or it's just like, even if you just, you get sad and you just feel like, you know what? I have a headache. However, it's affecting you. Sources like you leaving too much money on the universe table. I got at least eight streams of income for you, right? So get back to work. Get back to work and emotionally detach from that, right? Do what you need to do. Listen to your sacral chakra music. Get your solar plexus chakra music tuned up, right? This is solar plexus. Somebody forgot how powerful they really were. The solar plexus deals with your personal power and your identity. Somebody has given a lot of fire to something they should have taken a blowtorch to. <laughs> Here we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm not giving you any power to anything that I should have taken a blowtorch to a long time ago, right? Your third eye is wide open. You know exactly who and what I'm talking about. You know exactly who and what I'm talking about. You don't need one last conversation with them. You don't need to clear the air. You don't need them to explain anything. There's nothing else to talk about. Every time I think about what you did to me, person, place, or thing, I, I, I should have taken a blowtorch to it a long time ago. Again, it's not just a person. It could have even been a job that you worked on. I need to go ahead and blow torture. Even if you're still working on the job, I'm not giving another ounce of my energy to it. It's draining. Let me get to let me get back to being booked and busy. I got the whole world in front of me. Two of Wands. I'm telling you, some of you are start about to start meeting new friends, new acquaintances, new love interests if that's what you want. But you don't have time to, and I see you being victorious at doing it. But you don't have time to entertain. See this number right here, the number six. Looks like in the shape of a pregnant woman, right? Somebody's about to give birth to a lot, and not only could somebody be pregnant. If you are, congratulations. But this is also about you about to give birth to abundance and prosperity, Aquarius. Stay focused. Stay laser focused. Stay laser focused. And also, here's another upside to the full moon, right? So you think, okay, the moon is fully illuminated. Until people, that's why I try to teach about the, the, moon, uh, the moon phases and the moon cycles on my channel. So the moon is fully illuminated. I got to see everything in my universe and I, I get to decide what do I need to purge and what am I going to keep moving forward, right? Somebody is purging some energies that have caused a lot, have burned you. You know, every time you think about it, it's burned you. That's what you're purging, right? 
But guess what? It doesn't stop there, Aquarius, right? It doesn't stop there because you still got the last quarter moon on the 16th, right? So again, that gives you a chance to further analyze some things and say, it's in Virgo, by the way. Like I said, Virgo is the I analyze sign, right? So the beautiful thing about these moon phases, Aquarius, I know I get really excited about this, so let me just calm my brains down. <laughs> but, but serious, the, the upside to all of this, Aquarius, is the fact that your ruling planet Uranus is, well, one of your ruling planets, Uranus is retrograde right now. This is great because you all are a fixed sign and Uranus is the planet of change, liberation, and freedom. You're instantly freeing yourself. That's, that's when that light is fully illuminated in your spirit, that moon, and you're feeling, you start feeling some kind of way about certain things. Oh my God, I forgot I was still thinking about that. I thought I should, I thought I did a burning bowl ceremony or a cord cutting ceremony. Let me do it again. You do it as many times as you need to until that thing is gone out of your system completely. Don't get upset that I, oh, why, why can't I stop thinking about this? Because that's something that I commonly hear. Don't get upset when you, when it feels like, okay, why do, why do I keep thinking about this? Right? Remember, there's a lot of moving parts to this Aquarius. You could be on the same frequency with them at the same time for a totally different reason. Y'all could be on the same frequency and boom, you're triggered. You think about something. Oh, you know what? Ooh, when I open my eyes and look around, they have no more access to me. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, source. Thank you, most high for reminding me that thing has no more access to me. So yes, I do see you being victorious. I do see you being victorious and finally getting something out of your system for good. There's nothing that you need to worry about. Source just wants you to get back to work and get your rest. Get back to work and get your rest, right? Here we have the Page of Cups. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the King of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. And we also have the Queen of Cups, right? So this right here, see, somebody is, somebody is going through a rebirth. And the rebirth doesn't just happen overnight. A rebirth could look like you've been in a zombified state for a long time because it has hurt you that bad. Every time you think, I'm telling you, it can be down to the, the first letter of a person's name that hurt you. It can be you, you're in regular conversation about, you could be talking to a complete stranger and they, they remind you, they talk about a company. Let's say you work for a company that's like... um. Let's say you, you used to work for a hospital or something and you got burned by a hospital. Just the fact them saying that they have to go to the hospital for a medical emergency or they had to go visit a loved one in the hospital. If that wound is, is still fresh, just the word hospital or sick or gauze or, or doctor or nurse or, or EMT could trigger that emotion, right? That's why you got to be gentle with yourself. And if that means you got to put yourself in hermit mode while you're healing, do it. Do it for you. Because when you come up out of this, bad mamma jamma. Or in the male version, whatever, right? But here we go. Nine of pentacles. I'm seeing financial independence. Financial independence. See, what a lot of you all don't realize is we're moving towards the end of this year and you still got some more moon phases to go through. Remember, after the full moon in Gemini, this is just the last full moon of the year, but that's not the last moon phase, Right? Then we got a last quarter moon where you're going to be finishing strong. That's the 16th, right? Then we're going to be rolling into, then for, for that period of three, four days, you're going to start feeling, okay, new moon energy on the 23rd or around the 23rd of uh, December. And then you still got the first quarter moon at the end of the month, right? So you still got moon phases. This is just an opportunity for you to identify, okay, this thing, I've been in zombie five state over some things far too long. I've been giving a lot of emotion, a lot of energy to something that I should have burned that bridge a long time ago. Cord cutting ceremony, tossed that name into a fire pit a long time ago and released it in love. Released it in love. Here we have the page of cups again. Yeah. So some inspiration is coming across somebody's path. Some new, fresh inspiration is coming across somebody's path. And like I said, it could be love and energy that's coming across your path. 
new friendships could be coming across your path, new business deals, but somebody has is going to be calm, cool, calm and collected. Why? Because you've learned how to be wise enough to drink out of your fresh your own fresh water instead of and and also learning how to protect your water, right? We got the queen and king of cups. So for somebody new love could be coming across your path in terms of friendships that's right there on the same frequency. You talking about gemstones and crystals? Guess what? They talking about the same thing. You're talking about, hey, you've had some issues and you've had to sever ties with some family members. And but you're not staying too long on that. Boom, y'all y'all can relate, but it's not trauma bonding, right? So again, king and queen of, of cups. So keep your eyes, your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears peeled for energies that's very sensitive to your energy. This is where you have to, this is where you're training yourself to be in receiving mode. No matter how many times you've been burned by people in the past, you got to recognize, hey, I could have done some work too and start vetting people, right? Vetting energies, right? Here we have the seven of wands. So the, the energies that you're leaving behind, you can defend your decision to leave them behind without coming across as defensive. On to the next conversation, right? Yeah, on to the next conversation. Yeah, I used to date somebody like that too. Yep. Mm, aren't you? If I had never dated somebody, I wouldn't have been able to recognize that spirit. And then you move right on to the next, you know, so and so. Yep, I used to work for a company like that too. If I had never worked for that company, in other words, you're in constant gratitude. If that had never happened to me, I wouldn't have been able to recognize that spirit in a different body or a different organization. You see what I'm saying, Aquarius? Yes. I'm grateful that I went through those things. That's what you're saying. I'm grateful I went through those things. At the moment, I didn't see why I needed to go through that. I could have learned a lesson a different way, right? But it, maybe it had to happen that way so I'll be able to recognize it before I give it access to my spirit, right? Here we have the four of cups. Yeah, four of cups. This is not even something you need, even need to ruminate over. See how this person has their, the, their, their um, face in their hands? You don't even need to ruminate. That's you in the past. Why am I giving this so much thought? I'm wiser than that now. I'm taking my time to, to make friends. I'm not just automatically giving out friendship cards, right? I'm not even automatically giving out acquaintance cards. This is you just somebody that I met until we have some kind of weird, you know, taking the time to get to know each other as friends. And I'm not even talking about romantic. I'm just talking about just, you've been saying, oh, I really wish I could, you know, you know, meet some new friends or whatever. Slow down, take your time. Just slow down and take your time. You got a lot of good things coming your way. That source has been trying to protect your money. Source has been trying to connect, tech, uh, protect your connections. And it's going to all start to make sense. Why you got to slow down and literally, like here, tap into the Virgo in you. Analyze every single area of your life. Somebody is getting real serious about their life. Somebody is not playing around anymore. So let's pull some Oracle cards, Aquarius, so we can go ahead and close it out. But I'm so excited for you all, Aquarius, because everything is lining up for you. Everything is lining up. You're on the other side. I'm telling you, you only have two air cards down here, two sword cards right here. Somebody went from this to this, right? You went from ten of swords where you were terrified and nervous oh my god if i cut some people out of my life they're gonna run a smear campaign they probably will but that's why you left them on the other side but guess what if it had never happened to you you wouldn't be able to recognize it when it's coming your way because it's not like these people gonna disappear it's there's no um there is no slander island <laughs> even though <laughs> Even though you like to put all those people on one island together, let's put them on the, you should be on that island. You should be on that island. No, you just be able to, you learn the lesson. Now it's time. I learned the lesson. So when I'm, when I'm out in public and I'm making an impact on my community and the world at large, me and my person, whether we're in business or romantically link it or both, then I'll be able to see that energy up the road, coming up the road. I can already identify it right journal somebody may be writing a book or some kind of um blog or something you're doing but right now somebody's journaling right now you may be even doing poetry because there's a lot of creativity here in your cards too something that somebody is doing where your journal that's why i always talk about journaling it's it's so therapeutic to journal you know you wake up you can't remember the whole dream but you remember remember bits and pieces instead of just letting that sit in your spirit where you're like why did i have a dream about that where you can't even give one thing your full attention you've already journaled 
So and you're already saying to source, thank you for for um, filling in all the gray areas that I could I couldn't remember. Why did I have a why was a horse swimming in the middle of the ocean in my dream? <laughs> right? What, what sense does that? I've never seen. You know, like those are the things that you're asking. So you're like, hmm. Then throughout the day, source is saying to you, okay, the horse symbolizes this because you you all are thinkers. You all love to look things up online, right? Let me go up online and uh, let me see what the, what the horse symbolizes. Okay, so in the middle of an ocean, that's deep water, emotions, okay, depth of emotions. Okay, was the horse swimming? <laughs> that's not the brain of an Aquarius where was the horse... Um, was this horse swimming out to the deeper parts of the water or was the horse trying to come to land or were they to the left or to the right? Well, what color was the water, right? Was the sun shining or was it raining outside? That's the mind of an Aquarius. And so that keeps you busy, you know, thinking about all those things, but you're also getting it out. Remember, your energy is directed outward, Aquarius. So somebody needs to get excited about their life because I'm seeing booked and busy. Booked and busy, booked and busy, booked and busy, booked and busy. This is where you don't even have to worry about evil forces trying to work against you, Aquarius. You stay busy and let people create their own karma. The end. That's it. You stay busy and let people create their own karma. Because karma can get, do a much better job than you sitting around ruminating over who wants to see you hurt, who wants to see you harmed, you know, what people are plotting and planning behind your back. Let karma do it. Your dreams need a practical plan. That's right. Your dreams need a practical plan. Your dreams need a practical plan. See, the uh, somebody may have Taurus in their chart, but Taurus is ruled by Venus. Venus is the planet of, uh, it's the goddess of love, but it's the planet of, it's the planet of love and pleasure, right? And so this is where somebody is about to live a life on both sides, professionally and personally, a life that they absolutely love and that you are pleased with right? A life that you love and that you are pleased with, Aquarius. So get excited about your own life. That's right. That's right. This is full moon time. Full moon time is about taking, sitting down and really looking at your life while it's fully illuminated your emotions. How do you feel? Remember your moon, the, the, your moon sign. That's like, how do you feel? What nurtures my spirit versus what doesn't nurture my spirit? If you've burned me in the past, and you wanted this, you wanted me to see me like this, right? I don't have to say the word, y'all. You all can see this person is right. If you wanted to see me like this, you wanted to see, you know, me broke, busted, and disgusted, or worse, you wanted to see me physically like this and my spirit ascend to the upper room, then I need to go ahead. So thank you for showing me the lowest in your spirit. So there is no reason for me to look back. It's, it's the humanitarian part of you that wants to fix people, Aquarius. But if a person wanted to see you like that, that's all you need to know. You made it to the other side. 555 five, five is your number. I am optimistic, as, as you should be, right? A major shift is about to come into your life experience, Aquarius, and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. I'm telling you, Aquarius, some great things are happening for you. When I say great... Get excited about your life. Get excited about your life. Hold on to this. What I'm telling you right now, you're going to be, somebody is going to be so happy being booked and busy. Every time you turn around, it's not like you're going to have to just, I mean, if you're a singer, get ready for the gigs to come pouring in. I'm talking about like to a point where it's like, okay, I may have to, you know, record some tracks. Look, if y'all need a background singer, <clears throat> No, seriously, Aquarius, but no, seriously, I'm serious. Somebody may need, you know, um, ghostwriter. I mean, for real, like whatever it is that you're doing, get ready to be booked and busy. So let source go ahead and clear out all of that space. Let source remind you of who wanted to see you like this. And you keep your vibration so high because you know at a higher frequency, the things you've been praying for and thanking source for is coming to you a lot quicker while karma will do the job for them. You don't even have to worry about it. I'm telling you, karma can do a much better job than any human being can ever do because it's their energy coming back to them. So they better make it good energy. Peace. Affirmations for peace. That's right. Waves of peace are washing over my body. 
I find stillness in the eye of the storm. I am stronger than my circumstances. I release all feelings of anxiety. I am free from overwhelm. Today, I smile because I am alive. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Didn't I say this right here? You smile because you're alive despite people wanting to see you like this, Aquarius. They thought you thought, hey, my career is over, but it's not. My job, they just they just fired me from a job or people try to run you out of a job. They wanted to see you like this, but it's not. That ex-friend or those ex-friends or whomever try to slander your name. They didn't want you to get out of the bed. They want to see you depressed like this. But guess what? But guess what? So yes, I am free from overwhelm. Today I smile because I'm alive. I am blessed to be here right now. All is well and I am healing. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So praise source for real for a full moon because that full moon is giving you, uh, that full moon is giving somebody life. It is literally allowing you to see, um, um, see what you need to go ahead and part ways with. See what you part ways with, right? And so when we talk about this, Aquarius, remember I said, here we have, I find stillness in the eye of the storm. Remember, see, nothing nothing that comes to me is by coincidence. Remember I, I you know, jokingly, but not jokingly said you had a, somebody had a dream about a horse being in the middle of an ocean, right? But you know that a horse, a horse symbolizes power, strength, and health. It symbolizes power, strength, and health. And we're talking about depth of emotions. It's like you're no longer afraid to go deep in your emotions. You're no longer afraid to go deep in your creativity if you're a songwriter, if you're an author or a book inside of you or a, a, a chef or whatever. Whatever having to do with the depth of your creativity, you, you find power and strength in that like a horse, right? Like a horse, right? And health in that. So... Yeah, go on with your bad selves, Aquarius. That's what I'm talking about, peace. You're at peace. You're at peace with whoever you had to go ahead and just leave behind. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. Again, happy full moon. Like I said before, we have a full moon on the 7th. On the 7th, on the 7th, on the 7th. So get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready. So you'll see it on the 7th and 8th. But I will see you on Friday. Bye.